Hello, this is Wanakai, and I am back for another video. Uh, a new update just came out earlier today, and we're gonna just take take a look around to see what came with that update. There's still a lot of uncertainty, um, but I'll try my best to explain and kind of just get my initial thoughts of this new update. Um, on the on the App Store, it still says 1.5, so. I don't think they've updated that that part yet, um, so I'm assuming that this is update 1.6 or 1.5.1 or something along those lines. I'm not I'm not sure yet, but anyways, I mean, I've been playing the game today after the update. There's a few couple things I haven't quite done yet. Um, I, I was waiting to do this uh, video, but anyways, let's, let's check my mail. I know that we got some new stuff. Let me close that and talk about that one later. <laughs> uh, let's open this one. There we go. So along with this update, um, pretty much everyone I'm thinking got these new these new things. Uh, so these let me just go ahead and, and claim these. And let's go into the bag. So we've got some new elements here for pet evolution. Oh, where did it go? It doesn't even show up in the bag, does it? Oh, yes, it does. There it is. Okay. So, we've got um, these new elements here. This is for a, a new system for the pet evolution that they've added. Um, fire, water, I'm sorry, earth, water, fire, and wind. I always get these two uh, mixed up. To, to me, they kind of look um, somewhat similar. I wish they looked a little bit more different. But anyways, uh, earth, water, fire, and wind. And you can use these to evolve your your pets. So if we go into the pets, I'm just going to tap uh, any any one in here. And then we go to evolve. Uh, before it said something like reincarnation, uh, which never worked anyways. Uh, but now it's changed to evolve. So we'll tap on that. And now we get this new this new page here. Um, and then you can choose one of these. And then you will hit um, evolve. Now this says zero of a hundred. Um, it's not clear that if. Uh, one of these have a value of 100. Um, I, I'm not ready to play with this yet. Um, I think I'm going to wait just a little bit longer, level up my pets a little bit higher, get a better understanding of, of what these elements do, and even more so, you know, I, I, I'm not yet sure um, if which pet you know I want to spend spend stuff on. Uh, you know, so there's still a couple more pets that I really want to get and try out and maybe those I want to evolve So I'm just going to save them uh, for now But anyways, if we go back over to evolve um, So we got earth each element has uh, basically two abilities uh, that you get The first one kind of explains uh, uh, so for example take earth uh, so it looks like this will do uh, more damage against water based pets I'm, I'm assuming it's those pets who have evolved with the water out. and then this will do more damage against uh, those pets who have evolved with the wind element uh, same thing with with you know water you know it's going to do more damage against fire based pets and then it will do less damage against earth based pets um, and, and so on right so that's kind of cool but the more interesting part is the second ability you know, each each of these different elements will will do different things so earth means you're going to decrease the amount of crit damage that you're going to take where with the water element 
Okay, with the uh, water element, um, it looks like that they have a chance to recover, um, I believe these are mana points, is what I'm assuming, for both uh, himself, the pet, as well as the character. Uh, I'm kind of curious uh, what this actually means. Uh, have a chance, is that 50% chance, uh, maybe as you evolve more and, and level up, I, I don't know, there's just not a lot of detail here. I'm assuming SP is the mana points, but I'm not too sure. Um, and then, yeah, and, and what is that chance? Uh, to be honest, I don't know, based on how it reads, it, my initial thoughts is that water is, may not be that great. I, I, I don't know yet. Um, but I'm going to go a little bit more into some thoughts on that when we talk about the new Abyss uh, function that came out in the game. For the fire based element, deal bonus damage to enemies who are under 50% hit points. Now this one looks really good. I think this one has potential because if you think about it, right, if you're playing Call You Lot in the arena and, and so on, uh, I mean, usually after the first hit of something, I think in most games, you'll get most enemies down below 50% within the first hit. So this guy will almost right out the bat immediately be able to, do, to take advantage of this um, and deal with whatever that bonus damage is. Now the question is, what is that bonus damage? So, don't know it, but I think this one has some really, really good potential. For the wind here, your normal attacks will deal extra damage based on the maximum hit points of the enemies. This one also looks like it has a lot of really good potential. I mean, increasing your your damage based on someone's max hit points. So if you're uh, fighting against higher level or with uh, enemies who have higher hit points, higher level characters, you know, those pets like the uh, lava turtle thing, I can't remember its name. <laughs> um, just those who have lots of hit points and then you can just do more damage. This I can also see um, being used quite a bit. So yeah, anyways, I think this new pet evolution system is really going to allow people to customize their characters. And what's going to end up being really good or really bad. Um, yeah, this is going to be really cool, really fun. But anyways, there's not much more I know about this, but really, really cool system. Okay, let's see, what else? Uh, the other thing I want to show that came out with this update is the when you free uh, the pets. Let's see this. I'm going to go with the summon. And then I've got uh, uh, three, a normal recruit that we can open up. So let's open one up. And I don't care about that. So what's really cool is that previously, if you just got one or two star pets and you freed them uh, you get nothing but now with this new update you will always get something which is really cool so i'm gonna tap on free and then now it shows that yeah you're, you're going to get something and then i'll tap on free and now i get stuff so this is really cool um and before it was at least for me i, I don't know it was a, a little difficult to get uh, experience potions and uh, there's lots of pets that I want to keep and level up and just try out just for my experience and for theory crafting. Um, I'm a theory crafter uh, kind of person. So, and I don't like to spend uh, a lot of money. In fact, I'm, to be honest, uh, since my first video that I shown, I have not spent any more money on this game. So $30 was the max I've spent so far on this game. It's been totally worth it, I think. But anyways, um, but I would love to be able to theory craft um, and be able to try things out um, and keep my pets and level them up and just try out different strategies. 
and this this allows me to be able to do that now without having to spend any more money so really cool so confirm we've freed him um, and we're just gonna open up another one I mean, I've got a lot of gold to spare um, with that said <laughs> that's a, a pretty big topic uh, these days now especially after this new update is what are we gonna do with all this gold well now there's actually a, a better reason to uh, summon these normal recruits these three-star or lower pets you know because now you're always going to get something when you when you free these one-star and two-star pets so yeah a, another way a, a starting way to be able to start using up some of this gold so really cool but we'd really like to see the developers to come out with something else that we can spend their gold on but anyways yeah more experience potions pretty cool so that was the main thing I wanted to show you. I think what I've also noticed was um, just there's better rewards uh, when you're freeing your pets, especially the four and five store pets. There's just more better rewards, which is really cool. And I've also heard, I haven't seen yet, um, but I've heard that you can also get more of these elements or element for, well, actually, what are they called? Let me go back into the bag, go to one of these elements. Element shard, okay. So they're called shards. So I've heard that you can get these sh sh shard, a chance for a shard when you're freeing pets. So I'm assuming that would be uh, one way where you can get more of these shards. In fact, it says it right there. Available from free pets of three to five stars. So again, I haven't seen it yet, but it says it right there. So that's the, that's the change in uh, summoning pets. Um, you get uh, more rewards, which is really cool. Another update to the game, I don't have a warrior uh, to take a look at, but you know, there's an update that includes uh, where the warrior's physical attacks are stronger. Um, I don't know a lot of detail around that. Um, I think if I learn more, um, I will share that in another video, but it, it looks like there's a, a enhancement to the warrior class, uh, where just overall I think they'll end up doing more damage. I've noticed that um, certainly there's a lot of a lot of assassins, uh, especially because of the speed factor, uh, they are able to attack much more often, and there's a lot of people changing to the assassin class. So is that enough of a change for a warrior class? I guess we'll see here in the near future if that difference in the amount of damage that they can do uh, makes up for that. There's also another change around the change of changing, <laughs> change of changing, um, a change in the behavior of when you changing guilds, move from one guild to another, especially around um, at the end of uh, Coliseum, um, where I think some people, uh, toward the end of the season, um, they're switching guilds to, to try to get better rewards, and then switching back to another guild. Um, I guess some people are abusing that for whatever reason. Uh, it makes sense, but it's, it's an abuse, right? So, but that's another change uh, in the game. It is I don't know the details around that. Um, if you have to wait. 24 hours before changing guilds uh, or 48 hours or I, I don't know the details around that yet but that is another behavior change whatever it is and I don't to be honest I don't want to try it out because I love my guild I don't want to leave it um what oh, button guild set I can I have an option to resign from guild but yeah, I don't see any details around, um, you know, what happens if, if you do resign from the guild, right? Uh, what would be nice is that they put a question mark here or something that gave more details around uh, what happens if you click on this and how long you can join another guild, right? Again, it's around, uh, around the guild rewards and the seasons of the Coliseum, so... Uh, I don't know any details yet, and I don't want to try it. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see, what else? 
Um, oh, add instructions for the ice pole. So let's go to the ice pole. So they've added, uh, I, I can't remember if this question mark was here or not. I think it was. Um, and I'm not sure that these rules were here before. I don't know, but there's some new instructions. But what's more interesting is this library. Uh, what you will encounter in the ice pole and some of these even give hints like let's take a look at the spider uh, for example probably one of the most I wouldn't say challenging encounters but for newcomers you know there's the trick right to steal magic and no one really knew that right but anyways it, g it gives you the tip right here come up with a way to steal its magic power and that's why most people uh, equip the evil prince um, as a pet because this allows a spider not to basically instant kill you. But anyways, you can you can read all these different things. Some of them give some good tips. Others are just what looks like a copy and paste from uh, like a skill. Uh, so for example, I think it is these guys, the AIs. Um, yeah, it looks like it's just a copy and paste of the skill, right, of, uh, of the AI's pets that you can get. Um, basically, they can um, kill you if, the, if you kill them or something along those lines, um, especially when they are of a higher level uh, than you are. But anyways, this is, looks new to me. I think this is what they added. Maybe the rules is here as well. Again, I, I don't remember if the question mark was here or not before, but now it's there with some instructions. So that's just a new update to the game. Minor, but pretty cool. I'm um, adding more help topics um, everywhere in the game is, is really helpful, especially for newcomers to the game. There's a, a number six add skill set function after level 25. To be honest, I have no idea what that one means. Um, there's no details around it. Um, I mean, I'm level 34. I've, I've looked around in the skills. I haven't seen anything new. Um, I, I mean, the only difference that I see is this reset button. Add skill set function after level 25. Is that, is that what this reset button is? I, I don't know. Uh, but that's one of the things that, that, that caught my eye. I am very glad I've got this reset button back after being level 25. Um, if I tap on it, does it go away? Um, does it come back? Does it start costing gems? Um, I don't know yet. Um, and to be honest, I don't want to tap it, you know, just in case. Um, I think I, I certainly do need to reset it, don't get me wrong. Uh, there is a bug in the game that I have not informed the developers on yet um, but basically if I know this that if I put if I hover this upgrade button right up close to the general button and if I try to tap on the general tab sometimes the upgrade button gets lit up you, you see that how it's getting highlighted I'm trying, oh there we go, now it's the journal tab, so, I mean, you, my fingers are small, but still, you know, I, I'm, I'm expecting to hit the general tab, oh, now I'm getting it, especially when it's up closer this way, you see, you see that, I don't know if you see that or not, um, let me scroll it down a little bit more, yeah, come on, oh, it, it, it just clicked. It did it. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, so I, I think you just saw that. Uh, it was blue, that one right there, right? Um, and I was trying to, I wasn't trying to tap it on purpose. I was just hovering my finger over it and trying to move it away. But anyways, you'll notice that it was right about there. I was trying to hit the general tab. And it... It hit the upgrade button so bug i hope you guys saw that uh let's do this one to counter strike is good to upgrade if it accidentally does i'll hover right there try to hit the general tab 
Let's go move it up just a little bit more. You see it's still trying to... I hope you guys can see that. In fact, I can't even hit the general button at this point. It's really difficult. Uh, anyways. Um, I, I hope that's enough explanation there. Uh, there's a bug. Um, and now it's recorded on video. Hopefully you guys see it. Um, hopefully it's fixed. Um, it's been really annoying. <laughs> I have accidentally upgraded some skills I did not want at all <laughs> and spent a lot of skill points uh, so I hope that gets fixed uh, but anyways this is why because of that bug I am so glad that this reset button is back but anyways I'm gonna wait a little bit longer um, maybe level up a few more times but yeah, anyways love it thank you for the reset button and maybe that's what they mean by adding skills that function up to level 25 um, the abyss. Oh, the abyss. Okay, so this one is this thing right here, the abyss. And we're gonna open it up. And basically, um, this is a world event kind of thing um, where everyone gets to attack the same thing. Um, I, I am gonna take my experience from very similar games that I have played, um, where everyone attacks the same thing, and the goal is to basically uh, knock it out um, and then whoever finishes him off gets the KO rewards right but what I'm not sure about in this game um, in casual warrior is is it the first person who kills him okay, I, every time in fact let's go ahead and, and play him let's do a fight I've got five remaining um, and every day it resets I'm just gonna hit fight in fact I've not not even set up but this gives you an opportunity to where you have control of your character this time and you can pick whatever skills that, that you want to be able to use however um, he is immune to uh, like freeze for example and I'll go back and show you the, the three things that but anyways so we're just gonna attack him um, so yeah let's show you how this goes so so it seems like it takes a lot to kill him. You see his hit points are barely dropping. Like that. And let's just bash him. Got him down to 99.1. So as you can see, it, it looks like it's going to be a really long fight. Especially at my level. Um, and the more damage that he takes, um, the more damage that he does. So it's one of his abilities. The other ability is uh, he's immune to control effects. Like if you have sword uh, pet, um, and sword can lay this, I uh, can't remember what the name of the skill is, but basically he'll take damage um, every turn. It, it sounds like that that's, he's immune to that, right? He's immune to freeze, immune to stun, that kind of stuff. So if I try to freeze him, he's not gonna get frozen, as you can see there. You can see he's starting to do more damage as I do more damage to him. And eventually he's just going to be able to one shot me. And we're just going to keep on fighting. So at the end of the fight, after I lose horribly, um, and you fight him again, his life uh, resets. So it's going to go back to 100%. So. What I'm not sure is, does that mean that, uh, is, it, is it supposed to reset back to 100, right, every time you fight them? Um, is it supposed to be shared across all players? Um, or is it just a matter of whoever gets them from 100 to 0 first, um, defeats them and gets the KO rewards? There's not, um, not enough detail um, out there. So right now, based on how it's behaving, um, that's what it seems like. It's whoever can get him from 100 to 0 first. And then once he is defeated, it unlocks a another encounter. And I will show that here in a second. So my damage this time is 90,000. Rank 28. Yay. Um, however, I think uh, yesterday I got to like 120 something. I don't remember. But anyways, okay, so, rewards. 
So depending on what place that you rank with the, the amount of damage that you do. So right now, or yesterday, I fell into the 100 to 500 range, which is what you... And then they send you these rewards in the mail. So that's what you saw earlier, um, was that in the mail, um, I got this. This is what I got. And this is the rank. I was, again, I was like rank 120 something, I don't remember exactly, maybe 130 something. Um, and... Now what? Times 4. Oh, because I'm in 20, right now I'm in 20th place, but that's going to go up. Um, so yeah, uh, the more damage you do, the higher rank that you place, um, and then you can get better and better rewards. Um, and then if you tap on these, is a, another bug for me. I'm, I'm actually tapping on the chest. It's supposed to show what they contain. And come on, open. Yeah, this is a bug for me. I'm, I'm tapping. You can see my phone. Maybe. Not sure. But I'm trying to tap. And nothing, nothing's happening. So I've got the work once. It, it's supposed to open up with a with a window that tells you what, what it is and what these contain. But it's not working right now. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Come on. Okay. Uh, never mind. Uh, anyways, yeah, you can tap on them and they'll show you just the chances of the stuff you get. But I did get them in my mail, so we'll, we'll take a look at that. So that's the rewards. Um, and these reset every day. You'll, you'll get these daily. Uh, right, so the these bosses, these encounters will reset every day, um, as well as you'll get the rewards every day. So that's really really cool, I think. If you tap on event, tap on event. Um, so this is this is what you'll get. So the first one who defeats this will unlock this for the entire server. Unlock elemental creatures in recruit. I am assuming that by default I, I don't know if these are new recruits or um, the existing pets that are already already involved evolved into an elemental creature I, I don't know yet um, and then unlock evolved pet in recruits uh, which looks like that we already have access to people so again not a lot of detail I don't exactly know what these mean yet um, as soon as I learn more I will post another video but again these are just initial thoughts this is the first day of the upgrade or the update sorry um, and then after this abyss Baron is killed um, then it will unlock a second boss um, and then again uh, the goal is for everyone or someone to try to kill that uh, for the server and then it will unlock this open furnace function which again I have no idea what this is yet there's no detail around it yet um, sounds kind of interesting um, a, f a furnace function I would imagine is probably some kind of crafting system crafting station uh, maybe we can craft some rare stuff that is what I'm guessing what the furnace function is um, yep, and then these will reset every day. So every day, um, when the servers reset, um, and then these get locked again, and then the goal is to beat this guy, and then beat this guy, and then to unlock these every single day. So that's the abyss, just something more to do. Um, here's the abilities I was referencing earlier that this guy gets. So the first one, I'm, I'm tapping it. Uh, 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 almost. I'm tapping. Uh, ah, I gotta hold my finger down on that one. Um, that's the idea. How about some consistency um, in the game? Sometimes you have to tap on stuff. Sometimes you have to hold your finger over it. Come on, guys. Consistency. Anyways, hovering my mouse over it. Fatality. That's right. That's the other one. Fatality won't work on this boss. Um, however, I think that the damage you do on it um, will remain or at least it will still be a lot of damage but maybe reduced um, damage so fatality will still work it's just it's just not gonna kill it um, it will just probably do more damage 
the second one here is the invincible, um, immune to the controlling effects, such as the bleeding of the sword, which is I think what sword does, um, as well as uh, stun and freeze. Uh, there's a great guide on this actually um, that Casual Warrior Community has posted, uh, Jehudi X at least. Um, if I butchered your name, please tell me. I know you watch these videos. Um, but if you go to casual warrior community .wordpress com, there is a guide um, on this abyss which has more detail around this and then the third one is his armor so the more damage that he takes uh, the more damage he is the more damage he will do to you so that's the abyss right I uh, almost forgot um, and also changed after the update is uh, we got some new tasks here or at least I have not gone through them yet I was waiting to do this video to show them to see what these new tasks are but this one actually looks like an old task uh, but hey I'll take a free 100 gems um, I am already in a guild so we will receive that play a two five star Pets. Task and ten stars play. Five star pets play. So what does that mean? Let's see. It says I've got one out of two. And a reward is this bag. Does the bag do? I'm trying to tap on it. I don't know if it's a bug or something else. Hovering my finger over it doesn't seem to be doing anything. But let's Called a pet. Let's see if it means this. So, yeah, I've got one here that I am playing. So I think that's what it means to just equip a pet. So let's unequip Athena, and then let's go to Sword to play. And it looks like oh yeah, that did it. So that's how you complete uh, this one. Is just simply equip or play two five-star pets. And then we're going to receive. Let's see. Enter the King Arena. Okay, so this is a new one. Um, and I'm, I am not high enough in the arena yet for this. Um, I am a warrant officer. Or warrant, sorry. I've, I'm previously in the military and warrant is an officer rank. Um, but let's go to arena. Uh, I don't think I'm too far from that. Or am I king? Not sure what the king. The king rank. Ranks. Nope. Yeah, unfortunately, I know there are people who are there in the king arena and probably know exactly what that means, but I don't because I'm not there yet. I think it's after warrant is where you can enter the king arena. If I if I remember correctly. I'm just not there yet. But anyways, um, yeah, I think it's after warrant is I will then gain access to this king arena. Um, so I think I'm, I'm almost there, but not quite. And we get 20 uh, mutagens. That's awesome. Mutagens are really, really cool. Um, yeah, as, as far as I can go right now. Um, any new daily stuff? I don't think so. I went through these earlier today. And I didn't notice anything new. I'm just going through them real quick here. This is the second day of the update. Or at least from the server reset. Yeah, I don't see... Actually, I think this complete 10 Coliseum battles. Is that new? I think that's new. I'm not sure. Yeah, anyways. So yeah, uh, pay attention to these tasks, there's a couple new tasks, and in fact I just showed you how to complete one. So, good luck! That's pretty much the update, I, I hope I didn't miss anything, um, there might be some other tweaks that, that have been done to the game, um, I don't know, but that's it. Thank you for watching the video, please like, please comment, again if I miss something let me know. If there's something that you want to see, let me know, um, and please subscribe to my channel. Take care.